today guys we are going to be destructing this helmet we're going to be putting it through some torture testing and i know it has nothing to do with the real protection of what this actual helmet does for your head this is more for fun to see how much damage this thing can sustain This is an HJC helmet. This is the first moto vlogging helmet that I started off with maybe three years ago or so. It doesn't fit me right anymore. But we're going to be going through this gauntlet of punishment right here. So the first one, we're going to hit the shield with this pellet gun. Then we're going to hit it with a crossbow. I'm going to drop some 20 and 10 pound weights off of this four foot ladder. We're going to hit it with this hammer. We're going to hit it with this big ass axe. And if it survives all of that, then this is going to meet that. So let's go ahead and get it started, guys. This should be fun. All right, the first thing we're going to do is hit that shield with a couple of these pellets right here from this pellet gun. It should be traveling at least over 600 feet per second. So let's try that out right now. There's one. Two. <laughs> Nothing really going. You can see where the pellet struck here, but the face shield did not crack. Let's go ahead and hit one from point blank range. Wow, I sure thought this thing would have cracked it, but <laughs> I guess not. Let's move on to the next step. All right, now we're going to hit it with this crossbow. This is not a hunting crossbow. This is a recreational dick around crossbow. So I don't even know, like, this is like the second time I've used it. So we'll see what's going on with it right now. See if it can actually do anything to that helmet. And we're going to just fire it right at the shield. Because why not? First one right there really, really dug right into the shield. That's interesting. Mm, didn't penetrate the shield all the way though. Dug right in there. Did it go through? All right, now what I'm going to do is take these 10 pound weights and these 20 pound weights, get on top of this ladder, and then drop them right down to the top of the helmet to see if what happens. Let's go. This is actually going to be probably a drop higher than that because I'm sitting on top of the freaking thing. So, four foot ladder, me sitting on top of it. This is probably like, oh, I don't know, a drop from six foot. That popped the visor open. This visor was locked down, by the way. Um, this piece flew off from the inside from the impact. The top, though, has just got a scuff on it. Doesn't seem that bad. Oh, there's a big gouge. Big gouge right there. All right, let's go ahead and hit it again. This time, we're going to use a 20-pound weight. I'm going to try to hit the same spot. Bounce it up a little bit more. I can't really tell. Maybe it hit it right here. I don't know. Still intact, boys. 
I know that's not how the way a helmet is effectively protecting your head, but until I put an actual head in the inside of this, I can't tell. Right now, we're just trying to break this thing, and it's pretty dang tough. I want to try that one more time, though. I feel like <laughs> I feel like maybe I can hit it again. All right, this locking mechanism is broken. Yeah, the lock, the visor lock is is broken. That's not going to work, but let's hit it one more time. Maybe I can hit it from here. I just want to see what happens. And this time I'm going to hit it from higher up. I'm actually standing now. This is actually probably dropping from like seven feet. Nothing to it. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, it's hammer time, so now let's give this a try. You seem all but fine, but that probably wasn't a direct hit, so let's hit it for real. One, two, three. Uh, okay, nothing happened. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, we're going to have to dig you out. Let's take a look at her. Wow. Um, I can't see anything. I mean, that would have freaking killed someone if you hit them on the head with a hammer that hard and with one that heavy. So let's go ahead and let's, let's try one more thing. Let's go with the pointy end, the pointy end of the hammer. So here we go. 21 ounce hammer. Going to hit it right here on the head. Oh my god. It didn't even go in. It dented it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. It dented it, but it did not puncture. That's pretty dang hard, guys. Alright, time for the axe. I don't know, man. I'm starting to think that HJC makes a pretty dang tough helmet. I mean, again, I know the shell isn't what's, like, distributing the force around your skull, but just the fact that it can't crack between all those things I've put on right now. <laughs> all right, let's do the axe. Let's do, the, uh, let's do the, the sharp side first. If that doesn't do it, we'll do the blunt side. I'm expecting this thing to crack, or at least this thing to fly off. I mean, this is incredible. All right, let me put my face shield on first, cause this could get <laughs> this could get messy. <laughs> Fuck! Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Nothing from me swinging a freaking axe? Oh my god! Maybe it's this thing that's protecting it. Let's hit it from the backside. Let's hit it from the backside, so it's not like this. Let's uh, let's say right here. Like let's say you hit your head <laughs> right there. Freaking HJC, man. Come on. My dudes, I am not hitting this thing, like, softly either. I am taking full swings on this guy. Look at that. There's a gouge in there in the helmet. But it's not going through. This thing is not cracked. Holy shit. I did not think that a helmet, motorcycle helmet, could take this type of, like, blunt trauma. Guys, I'm going to have to go with something more extreme here. Chainsaw next, but let me look in the shed to see if there's anything else. Alright, my dudes. I found one more thing. A freaking pickaxe before we go to the chainsaw. If it survives this pickaxe, then I... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is this has gone on longer than I expected it to. Let's go ahead and see what this bitch can do. I can already tell you right now, the feel from my hands, that thing did not crack. It did not go in. It did not puncture the outside of this helmet. 
Yeah, look at that. It fucked it up right here, but it did not go in. Like, the inside of this thing is... Let's pull out the guts right here. <laughs> wow. Nothing has punctured this helmet. It's incredible. Let's hit it from the pointy end. See what happens. Alright boys, I'm really going to try to jab it in there this time. Hey. <laughs> HJC, are you kidding me? Are you like bulletproof? Well, I'm sure if I shot a bullet at this thing, it would break, right? Should I shoot a bullet at this thing? So I've been trying to start this chainsaw for like 30 minutes now, and it's fucking not going. It's full of gasoline. <sighs> Chokes on. It's on run. <sighs> You piece of shit. You're just not gonna start, are you? Fuck you. Well, I'm annoyed as hell that chainsaw did not start, so there's nothing else really to say about this HJC helmet and that other than. I can't break it unless I keep trying with this thing, but the chainsaw was just for effect So let's see if we can smash this thing a few couple of times and maybe I can get through it Ugh. You're one tough son of a bitch oh, Finally finally that's what it took Oh, all right guys until next time <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye bye